Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today's topic is duels. You can read all about this in Lesson 4.1 of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. Check the video description for more information about that. What I want to do in this lecture, however, is focus on the most interesting result about duels and save the mathematical grunt work for a different venue. So here's the game. It is as you think it should be being a duel. We have two gunslingers, each with a single gun and a single bullet in that gun. They start a very long distance apart, say 100 yards, and they consistently move closer and closer and closer together. At any time, a gunslinger can take out his gun and take a shot at the other side. If he hits, that's great for him. He will win, he will kill the other side, and he will guarantee his survival. On the other hand, if he misses, he's in deep trouble. Now he's defenseless, so the other guy can walk straight up to him and fire at point-blank range, thereby ensuring his own death. So there's a trade-off here. You would like to shoot earlier rather than later, preempt the other side from shooting you. But if you shoot too soon, you leave yourself defenseless, and you will miss your shot and guarantee your own death. So you have to manage that trade-off. Now, to analyze this game, I need to make a few light assumptions. So first, assume that gunslingers are more accurate from closer ranges. What that means is that if you shoot from a closer distance than a further distance, you're more likely to hit. That makes sense. Second, both miss for certain firing from 100 yards away, but will hit for certain from zero yards away. So you can't make the shot from a long distance, but you're guaranteed to make the shot from no distance at all. And I'm not going to make any assumptions about the relative accuracy of the two gunslingers. So one gunslinger might be always more accurate than the other side. Could be the case that sometimes he's more accurate, maybe from closer ranges, but he's less accurate from further ranges. And it could be the case that both gunslingers have the exact same skills. We're not making any assumptions about that. And yet we're still going to see a very interesting result without having to make that assumption. So now what I want to do is turn it over to you. I want to ask you this question. Under what conditions will player one shoot first? And similarly, under what conditions will player two shoot first? We have two gunslingers, player one, player two. When is player one going to shoot before player two? I want you to pause this lecture now, think about that for a moment, and in the comments section, write your answer. Take a good guess. And now that you've hopefully done that, I will reveal the answer. The answer is surprising. Despite the fact that we didn't make any assumptions about their relative accuracy, I can still tell you that they will fire at the exact same time from the exact same distance, regardless of those accuracy functions. And to prove this, I need to prove by contradiction. So let's suppose that it's not true that they're firing from the same distance. So if their distances aren't the same, then one person must be firing before the other. He's going to be firing from a further distance away than the other guy. I can picture it like this. So here we have the distances that each guy is planning on shooting from. The guy in red is planning on shooting from a closer distance than the guy in blue. So notice that if they play the game like this, the person in blue will be firing first. Can this be optimal? Can it be optimal for the guy in blue to be firing from that distance? Well, the answer is no. And the reason is as follows. He knows that the other guy is shooting from that red distance. If that other guy is shooting from that red distance, it doesn't make sense for the guy in blue to be shooting from such a far distance. After all, he could take a small step forward and then take his shot. If he takes his shot from this distance, he's going to be more accurate than if he took the shot from the previous distance, which was further away. But it also can't be the case that he wants to shoot from here. Because if he knows he can wait a little bit longer, he should wait a little bit longer, get a little bit closer, and be more accurate. But the same thing is true about this distance. Why shoot here from a further distance away when you could shoot from here instead? And the same is true about this distance. You could get closer. But there's still some space to close the gap and get a little bit closer and fire a more accurate shot. And so you can keep going closer and closer and closer and closer so we know that the solution for this game does not involve one player shooting from a further distance away than another. What we end up seeing through a lot of mathematical grunt work is that they're going to choose the exact same distance. And we can actually figure out what that distance is by playing with these accuracy functions and finding when the players optimize their shots. That's a lot of grunt work though, and the logic is very complex. It's something I can't do in such a short lecture. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time when we learn some more game theory. Take care.